It's Monday morning, August the 7th, 2023, and it's a pleasure to be able to share some thoughts with you from the scriptures today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and we're going to read this morning Psalm 25, verses 7 and 8. Remember yesterday, for the devotion, we talked about that God would remember his tender mercies and his loving kindness in verse 7 of Psalm 25, he says, Remember not, remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions according to thy mercy. Remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he teach sinners in the way. In verses 7 and 8, he talks about the goodness and uprightness of the Lord and how he doesn't remember certain things. We said God never forgets yesterday he remembers everything that that he ought to remember but he's determined to forget our sins and our iniquities and the bible says the psalmist wrote remember not the sins of my youth nor my transgressions according to thy tent to thy mercy remember remember thou me for thy goodness sake O lord and so this passage of scripture is about god forgetting and putting his behind his back what a great blessing that is. And the scriptures teach this in the book of Isaiah. We see it a number of times. Thou hast put behind thy back all my transgressions, and the, and you buried them in the depths of the sea, and they'll never be remembered against me again. These kinds of statements are found in the book of Isaiah. And the scripture is very consistent to point out the fact that God never forgets a service, but he never remembers forgiven sins he puts them behind him on purpose and they're washed away and they're cleansed in the blood of christ what a difference you know people will live their whole life tormenting and persecuting themselves for things that they have done in the past for their failures for their sins for their transgressions for their you know what they consider to be um things of their youth that they wish they could forget, the inconsistencies of their youth, the indiscretions of their youth, and people will long torment themselves over such things. But the Bible says that God puts them, if, if, if we've been forgiven, if we've been saved by the grace of God, God has put those sins behind his back and they'll never be remembered against us again. What a blessing that our sins are forgiven and forgotten. And... And so the psalmist prayed, Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Just remember the, the positive things, the things that I've done for your honor and glory. And God is gracious and faithful not to bring our sins up against us again. He will never upbraid a saint, a forgiven saint, for any of the sins of the past. What a blessing that is. And then verse verse 8 says, Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he teach sinners in the way. And God is faithful, and God will consistently bless and bring rejoicing to the heart of his child. What a blessing it is to know that the sins of the past are forgiven and forgotten. Don't ever imagine that God is going to hold, still hold them over your head. And every transgression and disobedience will receive a just recompense of reward according to Hebrews chapter 2 verse 2. But if you are one of those blessed people who is forgiven because you know Jesus Christ as your own personal Savior, you can confidently think and say that my sins will never be remembered against me again. They're forgotten. They're buried in the depths of the sea. They're put behind God's back. And the Bible says right here, remember not the sins of my youth. And of course, God won't because he's promised not to. What a great blessing that is. God bless you today.